Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a sliding glass door and French door for manual J heat load calculations in right soft. All right, so let's get into it. So as you can see in my video in here, what we have is right soft, but always we're going to make sure we're going to make sure that we have the grid settings already. So we have six, 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 six. You can always put it like 12, 12, 12, 12, and depends on uh, the preference. Okay. But the way you can see the grids is in here like that, right? So if you click in here, you can hide those grids. So the sliding glass door is mainly to show in a better way our glass. So it's pretty much the same like windows. So for example, a sliding glass door shows mainly in the kitchen or for access to the patio. So as we can see in here, we have the kitchen and uh, as we remember from the previous video, we hold shift, we click and we drag, we can drag this tag anywhere, all right? So for example, this is my window, as you can see, but how do you know it's a window? You can always right click and see in the property sheet, this is a window detail, it's a low emissivity, low E single window, all right? So what we do to change to a, a sliding glass door is number one, we need the dimensions. A sliding glass door is gonna be bigger than the width and the height. For example, in here, the width is 2.8, the height is four. Let's put for a sliding glass door um, five feet, and then we're gonna put in here, say 7.5, okay? So yes, it made it better, right? So you have the option of leaving it like that, no problem. But if you wanna show your uh, report more proficient, then what you're gonna do is to change this either to a sliding glass door or to French door. So let's start with the sliding glass door. So you click on the window and right click and you go to the property sheet. In the property sheet, you're gonna click on low E single and that's gonna take you to the materials, to the material pop-out window. So in here, you have the options to put in type in here. In type, you can choose either operable window, fixed window, sliding glass door, French door. So let's choose sliding glass door. Sliding glass door, single without vestibule. You have also options with vestibule, double with vestibule. You have more options, but to make it easy and simple, we're gonna put it like vinyl. So you also have the option to put metal, wood, TIM, vinyl. So we're gonna leave it as vinyl, sliding glass door. If you value solar heat going coefficient is gonna be 0.3 or 0.2, but that depends on the manufacturer. If you have the cut sheet or if you have the specifications of this sliding glass door, you can always change that. And you can always say that this is NFRC rated. Okay, so now we can put okay. And as you can see, this looks a little bit better, right? So if for your report, oh, they are gonna notice that this is a sliding glass door in a better way. Okay, so that's for a sliding glass door. But now what if we want a French door? So for a French door, we do the same process. We click in here, we do right click in the right click option. Since we already have in here door type, is not gray out, we can always change it from there. But let's just follow the procedure we did before so we don't get confused. So we're gonna go to low single construction window, see? In the construction window, what you're gonna have is, instead of type, we put French door. Okay, in the French door, vinyl, you can choose wood, whichever, and then this is gonna change like this. Okay? So that's the way to do French door or a sliding glass door. Okay, so and now this is mainly for the calculations, but if you wanna use my uh, the catalog bar, that's mainly cosmetics. For example, if you wanna put kitchen appliances, this is not gonna affect the calculation. Let's put a fridge in here. So this is a fridge, see a refrigerator. This is a stove. Let's put a stove very quickly. That's, that's a stove, you see, we're putting a stove. You can increase the size even. And then let's put a kitchen sink, see, we have a kitchen sink. And in the kitchen sink, you can always rotate this 90 degrees. Okay, that's not good. So we're gonna change, rotate this to 90 degrees, like this 90, 90 degrees. There we go. And then you can always put it right there. Make it smaller 
Yeah, that's gonna be mainly for your report, see? This catalog is mainly for cosmetics, mainly to make it show nicer, that's all. But what we really, what is really the most important part is uh, your calculations, your heat load calculations. This is just extra, okay? There we go. So in the so what so in in this case we have the kitchen and one more one more advice for this sliding glass door and French door also. As you so if you want to change this window for example to a sliding glass door or French door you right click and as you can see in here you have to go to the construction window in order to change the type see you could be operable window, fixed window, whichever, right? Because you have to go there because door type is gray out. If you can see in here, it's gray out. You cannot do anything in there. However, once you change it to French door or the sliding glass door, that option in the property sheet is enabled. See, as you can see door type, this is enabled already. It's not gray out. So you can direct once once it's a sliding glass door or French door you can directly change it from here so you can have the option so I want to change it to a sliding glass door for example you're gonna go here change it automatically there we go it's already a sliding glass door or you can go to the French door option so you the French door option you're gonna go double door in there right but now for the double door you have more options in fact if it's a French door, you can have this reverted. It's going to open to the outside, see? Or you can go back again and you're going to have this. Uh, let's only open one of them, not both, see? And then it's going to change. One is going to be fixed and the other one is going to be open. And you have more options, uh, opening bottom left. Op uh, see, this is not a good option because it's not looking good, not looking professional, but you can always have that option to change it there. And the last thing, this property sheet shows you the dimensions where you can change at any time, depending if you have the specifications or cut sheet. Uh, head height, not important. Shaded, not important. So you have the solar heat gain coefficient, see U value and solar heat gain coefficient. And the most important part in here, I would say, is the foreground reflectance. This is by default 0.20. If you want to take a very conservative approach, very, uh, like if you want to oversize a little bit your system, for example, you get a two-tone unit, if you change this to 0.32, you might have a 2.2 uh, 2, 2 ton unit. So you are oversizing, in other words, somehow to be very, to be safer, right? But uh, I usually leave it in default 0.20. Okay, this is the albedo foreground, and we also made a video of what is al albedo or for foreground reflectance. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit the like like button and subscribe. All right, thanks so much, and see you in the next video.